Hi there. Now for this question, we're shown this sketch here. It shows part of the curve C with equation y equals x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 5. And the curve crosses the x-axis at the points A and B. And for the first part, we've just got to write down the x-coordinates of A and B for one mark. And then for the second part, we're told that the finite region R, shown shaded, is bounded by the curve C and the x-axis. And we've got to use integration to find the area of R for six marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now for the first part here, write down the x-coordinates of the points A and B, where the curve crosses the x-axis. Well, clearly, this, these are the points where y equals 0. And because this is factorised, then it would be that x plus 1 would equal 0, or x minus 5 would equal 0. And that leads to x equaling minus 1 and x equaling 5. Minus 1 would correspond to the point A, so if we just put our answers in here, at the point A, x equals minus 1, and at the point B, x would equal 5. OK, they're the values then that make y equal to 0. So, for the next part, part B, then we've got to find the area bounded by the curve and the x-axis here, the region R. And to get area, we should know that we integrate y with respect to x. But the problem is here, remember that if you've got a region below the x-axis, it will come out negative when you integrate it. So all I'm going to do is just integrate then y, we'll expand this first, with respect to x. So we'll put in fact the brackets in here, x plus 1, x minus 5. Integrating that with respect to x, we go from the lower limit here at a, which is x is minus 1, to the upper limit here at b, which is 5. And so to do this, what we need to do is expand the brackets, first of all. So we're going to get x squared, and then we're going to have minus 5x plus 1x, which is minus 4x. And then plus 1 times minus 5 gives us minus 5. We've got three terms here. We're integrating more than one term, so we need to put it in brackets. And we're integrating with respect to x between the limits minus 1 then and 5. And in the usual way, what we do, integrating terms like this, is to add 1 to the power. So that's going to be x to the power 3 and divide by the new power. OK. Next one will be minus 4x, add 1 to the power, and that becomes x to the power 2 and divide by the new power. And as for the constant, when you integrate that, you just put on an x on the end. And then we've got to put this, say, in square brackets. OK, we'll just mark those in, and that's between the limits then, minus 1 and 5. And if we put the first value in, the first limit, 5, we're going to have 5 cubed then over 3. And 4 divided by 2, well, these will cancel out. That goes into the 4 twice. So we're just going to have minus 2 multiplied by 5 squared. And then here, we're going to have minus 5 times 5. OK, so we've got that one. And from this, we subtract what we get when we put the minus 1 through. So we're going to have minus 1 all cubed over 3, minus 2 times minus 1 squared, and then minus 5 times minus 1. And just complete that square bracket there. So when you work out the first bracket here, you should find you get minus 33 and 1 third. And then we have the minus here. And when you work out the second bracket, you should find you get 2 and 2 thirds. And this gives us a negative value, minus 
36. So that means that the area, okay, let's just say it follows that, it follows that the area then of R must be equal to 36. 36 square units, or you could write units squared, although you won't be marked down if you left that off. It's just that it's an area, and I always like to generally write that in. Okay.